Now let's try to solve a word problem from Z theory. Here, a uh, question is saying in a community, 70% people can speak English and 60% can speak French. Then how many people can speak both languages? All right. So uh, in a community, if we have 100% people, definitely in a community there are only to consider that's 100% people. And out of those 100% people, 70% of that uh, population of that uh, community can speak English and 60% of that community can speak French and question is asking us we need to find out how much percent or how many people can speak English as well as French both they can speak right so to solve that uh, we need to use the same uh, cardinal number of union of states uh, that we had recently learned in the previous video so I'm assuming uh, total number of uh, people is speaking English okay number of people speaking f speaking English I'm representing by N E here E represent English is how much 70% similarly number of people speaking French and I'm representing that by F okay is how much 60% and now uh, number of people speaking both languages let me suppose this is an E intersection F is how much question is asking us and total number of person total people in community and E union F because in that community people can speak English or French or both okay that is always 100% so now what we know that uh, number of people who can speak English or French or both in that community is actually total number of people speaking English total number of people speaking French minus total number of people speaking English minus French All right. Uh, this is what why I'm writing this because you know uh, in Venn diagram I think I have already uh, shown you let me let me draw one more time the Venn diagram and so you suppose uh, if uh, if this is the total community all right hundred percent and few people can speak English all right and few people can speak uh, French and few people can speak both so uh, if there is a certain X percent speaking English all right uh, English and French both then there will be 70 minus X percent that only speak English and 60 minus X that will just speak French all right it is in something like that all right and uh, you know uh, why I'm writing this because totally speakers is speaking English and French is is I write like this uh, because if I'm writing complete English that is what is this E union F means means totally speaking English as well as French means this complete peoples all right and to write complete people, you know, we need we had a formula that we had recently done in the previous video, and this had came like this: uh, adding all this English speaker, then adding uh, all French speaker. All right. But while doing so, this much section has been repeated twice. This section has been repeated twice. I have already said it by the white, and later I again said it by this purple color. So this has been repeated twice. So that's why I'm subtracting one time. All right. This is the reason why I'm subtracting. I hope you understand this. All right. Uh, now, um, so total English and French speaker are hundred percent, and English speaker is how much? Seventy um, percent, and French speaker are sixty percent. So how many people are there minus who can speak English as well as French? All right. And now minus I'm taking it to the right side. So number of people speaking English as well as French is seventy plus sixty. That is 130 percent, and minus this 100 percent will be here. All right, so that's going to be 30 percent. So 30 percent people. This is 30 percent. All right, 30 percent people can speak both languages. All right, 70 minus 30. It means this is 40 percent. 40 percent people can only speak. They they only speak English. 40 percent of that total population they know only how to speak English not Spanish oh, sorry not uh, French or not any other language and 60 minus 30 again 30 percent people this 30 percent people can only speak French they cannot speak English they only know 
uh, how to speak French right this is the way how to do and now if the question is saying to represent this into the Venn diagram then you can easily represent that all right make like this and right here 30 percent right, well, first we need to represent this is uh, English and this is French okay and then you can fill up easily uh, both speaker are 30 percent you just find out English only English speaker are now uh, total were 70 percent and now 30 percent already we have written so it is 40 percent and a French speaker total is 60 percent 30 percent we have already written so we have to write here 30 percent and now see all together 40 30 70 70 and 30 100 percent all right this is the way how to represent in Venn diagram I hope you understand it and sometime you know uh, the same question we can do in many different ways based on the question uh, what the question is given I had, I had given you a formula like uh, an intersection f something like this also and not e right and n not f and then plus n not e intersection f right we don't have to put not also here uh, if you don't put not then also it's okay this type of uh, problem also come that time uh, when when we'll be using this when the question is uh, question will say you uh, if english speaker are just 40 percent or if uh, french speaker are just 30 percent or something like that all right uh, when they are just saying they can only speak when whenever uh, question is saying only speak then you need to think that's not related problem and you need to use this formula all right this one so uh, in the next video uh, i'll be doing another problem that will definitely give you a new concept all right catch you in the next video goodbye and feel free to comment just below this video whenever you feel any kind of uh, difficulty in understanding anywhere you can specify the time so uh, that i will otherwise any other who had already understand this can reply you back and so so it will it will be a good uh, environment to learn all right and please don't forget to subscribe the channel